happening everyone we're back we're number three baby number three i did i was on furu show this morning because he just sent me a Streamyard link and i'm like i like furu i like his content let me get on there with him and ben dubard and then i was uh, live with dip catcher at 3 30 pacific and that was a lot of fun as well and uh right now i'm actually uploading one of the clips of dip catcher so if you see me uh slowing down or a little bit uh, glitchy just youtube is uploading so well, we're, good. we're both going to deal with it for, for a couple minutes because I got to get that video out tonight because it's it's relevant because the DCA coin is, uh, is launching tomorrow and I want to get out in time to make it like a real time deal. Anyways, and then number three, to top off this beautiful Tuesday, February uh, Pacific Northwest night, we have local Hexkins from the meetup. I, these guys, I remember first meeting them eight, nine, ten months ago last year and uh, I remember the mask. I'm like, nah, I, don't, I don't think I want to stream or anything like that. And then here we are. I'm like, why not? Let's let's do Twitter. Let's do streaming. Let's uh let's get into the uh, let's get into the motions of supporting and having utility in the Richard Hart ecosystem. That's what I try to do, and it, it's just been a blast. So I, I really wanted to highlight our local chapter and let people know that if you're in the you know Pacific Northwest, if you're in other states, if you're in other places, you can get together with people who have sh common. Uh, and interest such as cryptocurrency and they may even love your favorite crypto as well so i want to get uh the guys together and i wish you know maybe next time we'll have more girls we'll have we don't uh you we usually have at the meetups there's a big diversity of people but uh the people who could show up tonight and there's more that couldn't show up but the ones that could show up tonight the gentlemen of hexaco let's bring them in let's bring them in everyone first up bets in crypto t-rex valley brand Steve D and Jerry Oaksmith. Welcome to the show, everyone. Woo! Hey, hey. Thanks for having Hi, us. Thank you to be here. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for having us. Thanks. The Mid of Hexco, Washington State chapter. Um, yeah, it's uh, again, next time, guys, uh, try to invite some girls. We'll get some more uh, local uh, local hexes here. But tonight, we're doing it all together. And uh, the in bets, bets from crypto, in crypto's background, that is a picture of one of our meetups, one of our many dinners at at Trenchers, our favorite place to uh, have drinks and exchange crystals and uh, all, all that fun type of stuff. So, we got one right here, <laughs> oh, nice. dude. The crystals are legit from from T Rex. He's a he's a crystal miner of sorts, among other other among other types of mining. So, uh, yeah, let's go through. I, I'll talk to the chat as we go. But how about to everyone starting uh, to to the right of me? Just introduce themselves and uh, just just say how they got into Hex. Let's do a little. Almost a testimonial, a baby testimonial, if you will, but just, uh, yeah, how'd you, how'd you find this? Right on, man. So, uh -oh. Vets and Crypto, um, four years in the Marine Corps, uh, been self-employed ever since I got out. I do have a service-connected disability through the VA. Um, started, uh, in late 2017 mining, uh, Ethereum, uh, started out using nice hash mining. And then, uh, I got into lease, like leasing out, uh, hash rate, uh, using Genesis mining. And so that gave my segue in, um, eventually someone dropped, uh, like the word hex, you know, in a chat and started running down that rabbit hole. Um, I think I came across the um, uh, hex. I came across my fellow brother hexologist first, and then naturally, you know, ran into RH hours of all of that, um, and I've been hooked ever since. I've uh, been in hex since uh, March 2020, start of the pandemic. Uh, staking ladder is established. That was first and foremost. Started up my furthest 15 years. Worked my way back and forth. Um, and then been to several Hex uh, in real life meetups between NASCAR and uh, Vegas and Big K's event Chicago, the Hex third birthday, um, all that good stuff. So that's that's my story in a nutshell. Sticking to it. Fantastic, man. Great, great to have you. And uh, yeah, always appreciate the service of the veterans as well. So good, good to have you, man. Pleasure to serve. How about, how about you, T-Rex? What, what's your story? Yeah, man. Uh, well, uh, I, I'm going to start by thanking you for 
for opening this up and, and uh, organizing a lot of our meetings. Um, I, I brought my, my pulse chain hat. I got my Hex third birthday t-shirt. Nice. And if, if, only, if only I could find a, a cup that could hold more. Um, these <laughs> cups are, are kind of small, so uh, it doesn't hold much liquid in there. <laughs> I like it. I'll get you the 20 um, ounce one next time. How about that? Yeah, you know, we, we need the big ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, well, so Hex was my first uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, so dinosaurs in the chat for that. Um, I, I was actually, uh, I was actually going through, through a divorce and, uh, my friend, uh, Hex on the beach, he's also a, a local, uh, he's right there, uh, Hex on the beach. He's, he's a Seattle guy. Um, we played basketball together in, in college and, and he introduced me to Hex, called me at work one day. Um, I was feeling low and said, Hey. This is my story. He shared his story with me, and uh, ever since I I just jumped in. Um, I I work about an hour and ten minutes from where I live, so I I live in the Telegram chats. Uh, the Telegram chats. I I love to to just sit in those chats and learn and um, and take advantage. I'm like a fly on the wall. I I take advantage of of all the different experts in our community. And, and all the content that they they uh, provide. Um, so so I got into Hex. Um, it, it was a 2021, and uh, caught a little little bit of pump into the sacrifices. Uh, so I, I I was able to do some some uh, add some great value to the Pulse Chain and Pulse X sacrifice. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Um, and then ever since then, I've just been diving into to all the different aspects in our, our DeFi uh, realm. So, and here I am now going to all of our meetups and, and uh, with a great crew. So that's it. Can only get greater. Yeah, man, we uh, are glad to have you on board. It's, uh, it's, it's, our meetups are, are so fun and they just keep getting better. I, I, uh, I'm excited for the next one every month. I'm like, man, we're just gonna we just have a blast. Sure. Here. Oh, and and I, I want to add one more thing. Um, so Hex on the beach, he he helped me. You know, he helped me uh, kind of coach me on the fundamentals, uh, MetaMask, and and he said, okay, well, you need this and this. You need Twitter to to follow Richard Hart so you can get the the real time updates and all that. And and I took some time before I got Twitter. Uh, just because I I had all the other things I had Instagram and and I'm like oh I, I'm not sure I can deal with another social media, and and so then uh, one day uh, Richard tweeted something and I missed it, so I said oh I'm gonna have to get get Twitter, and so I got Twitter, and um, my maybe my my second second or third tweet um, I tweeted something about uh, the hex diamond the hex.com diamond. I said, oh, well, this isn't the hex.com diamond, but it's something that, that I mined myself and I think it's prettier. And I posted a picture of a crystal, right? And uh, I had some comments and then miraculously, Richard Hart commented on my photo. And, and he said something so amazing, like mind blowing. Um, and I, I was shocked. He said, "What do you think?" Nice. <laughs> that was, <laughs> and, and, and it's funny because I think that comment had like almost a, as many comments as I had on the original post. So, so that's that's my 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 Richard Hart interaction story. And actually, this is the nice. one. Beautiful. Wow. Whoa. That is worthy of, of putting on the internet, man. That's awesome. No wonder he said nice. That is nice. <laughs> okay, Dude. someone else is up. Love Can we come it, up with it. a name for that? Can we come up with a name for that that will make it unique to Washington State? It, the uh, he we'll get Washington back to State that. Hexagon Telegram <laughs> Diamond? Well, it would be an amethyst. 
So this is an, okay. an amethyst. Oh, hex. 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 We can call it a crystal. Okay. Hex.com crystal. That's not taken. So hey. I like it. There you go. Okay. Amazing, man. Steve, Steve uh, what, what's, what's your story? Why are you here? And uh, what, what what's going on, man? I've uh, got no cool tweets. Just like, um, like T-Rex has got with um, Max, unfortunately, yeah. uh, with, um, with, with, with Richard. But um, <laughs> so no, no cool stories like that. But I got here in um, 20, 2019, uh, moved over from Australia, from the Gold Coast, um, can, can, you, here. can you come a little closer to your mic just a little bit? It's hard to hard to hear you. Okay. Yeah, I moved in, I moved over here in 2019. Had an opportunity to um, move to the States, so I did. Uh, 2020, I got myself out of a um, pretty shitty relationship. And um, 2021, I found um, Hex. So I um, started doing a lot of um, self-improvement um, courses and stuff like that and got myself into crypto and jumped on the centralized exchange systems and realized that um, that wasn't really the place to be. But one of the courses were absolutely great. That's where I caught up with uh, Jerry. And um, that's the start of the forming of the Washington State Hexagons. And um, ever since then, it's just Hex made sense to me. It just straight away just clicked. And um, I just did a deep dive, got straight into it, just loved it. So um, I jumped in at six or seven cents and um, followed it all the way up and got rid of the vehicle, got, you know, whatever I had, I threw it the hex, I, I just believe in it. And um, and then um, I've been chasing it all the way down as well now, so my um, dollar average is better than my entry at, uh, average at the moment, so um, it's um, really, really cool. I'm loving it. And um, now we've got the opportunity of... Um, you know, staking in in um, in the ecosystem and doing sacrifices. So, you know, I've just been um, ever since. With I don't think I had so much fun until we actually got to the bear market and um, seeing my dollar average, buy an average, come down and down and down, and just be able to um, now do my you know twelve monthly stakes. Now it's you know every six months and um, just closing that gap up nicely. And uh, my only problem that I've got at the moment is trying to create tri powder. We've got some really cool little sacrifices with, um, you know, the different um, different things going on in the ecosystem. It's just been absolutely awesome, and um, you know, it's exciting times. So I'm so proud to be um, class myself as a hexagon, and um, Max, you're one of my biggest uh, biggest fans. You know, probably you. you know during the bull market there was you know. So many different people that I was listening to. I probably honed it down to about six of them, and um, you know, just get rid of all the fud that's out there, and um, stop listening to all the tweets that's going on. You know, the, you know, all the static and just crap that's going on in the um, in the ecosystem, and just focusing in on the good things. And I've got a bit of a game plan on how I want to approach the, um, you know, the launch and. Um, hopefully we keep that hex down a little bit longer so I can keep buying in. But yeah, anyway, that's that's my story. But I really um, really loving the hex meetups that we're doing every month and um, really yeah, just just can't you know can't can't highly recommend it enough to um, anyone in the in the area wants to catch up with a bunch of great guys and a couple couple girls. And, uh, you know, be able to yeah. um, enjoy each other's company, which is just so cool. Yeah, man. We've been uh, beating the bear down together. It's been a little bit of bear market therapy the last few months, but it's you're still here. That's the important thing. If you've made it through this bear market and you're still Hexagon and you, you haven't sold your bag, then uh, you may be rewarded one day. That's what we all hope. And uh, that's why we're here. So awesome to have you, man. Really good to have you. Jerry Oaksmith, tell, tell, us, tell us what's going on. Uh, it's your time. Let's go. Well, let's see. I got into Hex early 2021. And, um, you know, at that point in time, I really didn't know the difference between cryptos. Um, you know, I pretty much, whatever I heard or read or whatever 
a buddy said, no matter what coin it was, if he said it was going up, I was getting into it. And um, I wasn't in the hex right away. And uh, I really was liquidity for a bunch of other people. And uh, it was pretty painful. And um, I was told that Hex might be a good one. As I said, I didn't know one crypto to the next. But the guy that told me about it was conservative, Dave Dodge. He was a local hexagon. Mm -hmm. And um, it was before the pulse sacrifice. And um, actually, it was like the day he told me about it was the day that Richard Hart announced the pulse you know, coming out. And I didn't really realize that for about a month or two later. But um, I got in, but I didn't put as much money as I wish I would have, as we all could say that. But I was scared. I was like, you know, the kitty cat gets thrown in the bathtub and then he like doesn't even want to go in the bathroom anymore. That was me. But um, I went pretty heavy in hex and I'm really glad I did. I sacrificed for pulse chain, but at the same time, I was still had the trader mentality. And I didn't sacrifice till I think it was day 17, which unlike the Pulse X sacrifice, we had 10 days, I think, if I remember correctly, to where you didn't, you know, lose any percentage or whatever. So I did that on the seventh, 17th day, you know, and um, I'm really glad I did that now. And uh, Hex just started to take off. And it's like, whoa, look at this. And um, I sold all the way up. <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, in, in hindsight, I guess I'm glad I did. But after, you know, it went way up to 52, 56 cents or whatever, I was a little pissed. But um, I ended up buying back in at 39 cents after selling like a whole bunch between 12 and 18 cents. And, um, you know, it's OK. But time went along and um, I didn't even know about staking. I did not know about staking ladders. I didn't know anything about it. And then I found out four or five months into it. I don't know. And um, once I went to go.hex.stake or whatever it is, can't remember, um, you know, I started playing around with it, entering calculations. And like the light bulb went off. I was like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Didn't really understand about it being immutable and a lot of other wonderful aspects. Figured that out. And then I, you know, wanted to keep stuff liquid. You know, let's keep it liquid so we could buy, sell, all that mentality that I was still stuck in my head. And then they were talking about when's Pulse launching, you know, eventually. I don't remember when that was. And then <laughs> everybody was talking about... Um, what was it? it? Richard's horoscope or like astrology or astrology. Yeah. And like it's his birthday or whatever, the hour he was born. And I was like, I'm so sick of this shit. And I pretty much 100% staked myself at that point in time. And I was really happy I did. I sleep like a baby now. My next stake is coming out in August of 2023. Um, I don't, you know, the price, I love the price going up because it makes a lot of people happy. Doesn't bother me, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what happened. And I sacrificed really hard for Pulse X. So I'm hoping Pulse X will outperform Pulse. I don't think that'll happen, but be my fingers crossed. You know, and then, like Steve said, um, I was in a crypto course and um, I met him there. You know, him and I were going through some similar stuff. We're in the same business. And I saw him, I was like, oh, he's, I, did he say Seattle? He said Seattle. Oh, rent it, rent it. So I hit him up and uh, we got together and, you know, we started hanging out and then he got a hold of Bally at Brand and before you knew it, we had this little click going. It's just grown ever since. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. We'll talk more about it after Brandon shares. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, so that was DCC's course that you all were taking? If I remember yeah, correctly? Yeah. And, you know, that was a really good course. I learned a lot about Celsius. I Thank God he told us about Hex, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I, 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 think D, I think DCC courses onboarded so many Hex things. So, uh, so yeah, they really, they, you really learn a lot in his course. I mean, I knew nothing and, you know, gave me a foundation. So hats off, you know, shout out to DCC. Sure. 
And last but not least, ba Bran, Ballet Bran. Yeah. As uh, one of the one of the streamers in the in the cycle, he's got over five 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 uh, subs. Yeah. So I was at the uh, dinner where we celebrated it. So uh, how's it going, man? What's uh, what, what's your story? What's your introduction to Hex and uh, this this beautiful ecosystem we're all sharing? Doing great. Uh, thanks for hosting the stream. I think it's really cool. Uh, like you mentioned that we're doing, uh, you know, more local meetups. And I do have to thank Jerry. Uh, he's the one that got that cake. Uh, and mm -hmm. that was probably one of the coolest gifts. I mean, you know, just sentimental wise, like, shit, I wasn't expecting that, you know, so that was really cool. Um, as, as far as Richard Hart goes, I mean, so I've been in crypto since like early 2017. And then uh, not too long after that had had heard about Richard Hart because, you know, he is a Bitcoin maxi and kind of fighting some of the Ethereans and things like this. And, um, you know, re really liked his his style of communication. Um, it, it's kind of what I try to strive to do as well, which is kind of just a no BS style of communication and, you know, cut to the chase. And he has no problem, uh, you know, saying things how it is. Um, as far as the like the first market cycle, I had experienced my first uh, market cycle in, in Bitcoin and in Litecoin, I uh, wrote it all the way down. And then kind of when I was about to, you know, seemingly like give up or kind of quit crypto, you know, um, was, was that was like the end of the bear market. And uh, that was when Richard had talked about creating his own crypto. Um, and then so I figured, you know, okay, I'll, I'll stay in this for this product that, that Richard's now created, which is Hex. And, uh, you know, I I'd, I'd taken all of the other because I was in, you know, 2017, there was a lot of, you know, different altcoins and stuff that people were into, myself included. Um, so I'd taken all of that, the Litecoin, the Bitcoin, sold it for Ethereum and then got into uh, got into Hex on day day one and kind of just, uh, you know, presumed to kind of dollar cost average whatever uh, bit that I could into the adoption amplifier, um, you know, since then have, you know, obviously been fortunate enough to participate in the the pulse chain sacrifice and you know and now the pulse x and uh yeah you know once again thank you max for uh for doing this stream as well i think uh i think jerry was one of the first people i had met at the uh, crypto sparbu when they were doing the uh, quattro cinco tour when they were kind of traveling oh, yeah. all over the u.s um I, I didn't realize i was like i didn't realize there was other people kind of in the seattle or washington state area um, so that was really cool to meet some people that were that were like-minded. And then ever since that day that we had done the the music video, um, you know, we've we've done the local meetups as as you guys have all experienced with myself, and and that's been really fun. Today I actually met a uh, a hexagon that I've streamed with a handful of times, Glenn Carlson, on my YouTube channel, and uh, he came up today from Oregon, and and we got to hang out for a couple hours before he had some other duties to do, but. The thing that I'll say that's cool real quick, just wrapping this little part up is, you know, the the, the crypto is great. The founder is great, things like that. But uh, Wendy's Fratendi's had said a long time ago that, and and I'm maybe this goes for any community, but from my experience, uh, one of the best things that, you know, people can do in a bear market or other things is, you know, try and make friendships and, and you know, relationships and, you know, people that you share in common with, you know, maybe send them a direct message and, and see if you share anything in common. I mean, I've seen so many, uh, you know, people meet a lot of new friends or just separate, you know, business workings uh, that they've done through meeting people in this community. So once again, thanks for having us on. And and it's a blast. I mean, you know, once again, it's it's fun to live stream and things like that with with you guys. Um, but but meeting up in person is is also another experience, which is uh, you know, very legitimate. It takes it to another level. It really does. It's like you meet people in person. You know, I, 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 I've been streaming a lot lately and Grant's been streaming a lot in the past as well. And, and it's just, it's a different feeling. Like when you meet up with people in person, you get to know them uh, and you just get to hang out with them in a, in a casual environment. You get to do events, you get to exchange stuff. You know, we got, we got uh, crystals, we got uh, hex merch, we got, uh, yeah. just, just, just lots of cool stuff. You know, we got hats, people throwing hats around and, and all that. It's just, it's cool. It's just like a friendly, cool, local deal. And, uh, when you get to, you know, have a, have a drink with somebody or have dinner or, or go bowling with them, it's a different experience than, you know, just, just seeing them over uh, a webcam. So I, I'm definitely lucky and fortunate to, I found you all. I, I don't remember how 
I think I may have saw Brand might have tweeted the Telegram group. And I was like, oh, I should probably join that. I don't know if I ever do anything, but I'll, I'll just join it and see what people are talking about. So I probably just just uh, just just watching for a while, and I'm kind of oh, they're having a meetup. Oh, maybe I should go. Maybe I should like like I don't know. Should I meet these people or not? I don't know. <laughs> I remember feeling that at first, and uh, I showed up, and then everybody came, and I was like, whoa, this is a this is a fun time. So that first dinner really sold me on this group. I was like, yeah, I would like to do that again. That sounds fun. Well, and and now we're stuck for five 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 together. <laughs> We are stuck together. That's true. <laughs> or or, or at least seven years because we can always emerge the edge stake. That's, that's true. true. <laughs> My first thought is uh, 10 years gets you the maximum uh, payout, but you don't get the, you don't get the end stake uh, penalties at the last five. So maybe at least 10 T-Rex, maybe 10, uh, 10 to 15 at least. It's, it's good to me. I'll, I'll do some time with you guys uh, in, in that, in that context. Um, what, what do you guys, as far as, uh, and we'll, again, anybody in the chat, uh, appreciate everyone showing up for, uh, for local hex meetups. Again, if you don't know your local hex meetup, uh, just figure it out in your, whatever city you're in, ch check, uh, Twitter, uh, check YouTube, check mm -hmm. the local, uh, groups and just see if people are meeting up. Cause you may be missing out on meeting people in real life and, and developing these relationships that can really, you know, during a bear market, especially you need people to tell you it's going to be all right. You need people to, to, you know, misery less company in like the, the most generous way you could, I could talk about it. It's like you need people to be around and be like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to go, you know, jump ship for Cardano or something. It's like if, if you're able to stick in this ecosystem and get people to reinforce that it's the best one, like that's that's a good thing to have. So if you don't know your local meetup, uh, I, I suggest you find out. And if it's your if you're Washington State or Seattle area, you found the right uh, one as far as we go. So. Um, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to add some to that too. Sure. Um, it's interesting because I'm five ten, and I'm like the shortest dude. So if there's anybody else that's you know below <laughs> six foot in Washington State, come hang out and sit next to me. You know, and take a picture next to me because uh, yeah, I, know, I just want to share that. These guys all here are all above six foot. Uh, we're going to start setting invitations out by height. The shorter you are, the, the better, according to, to, to Jerry. Maybe we'll, we'll do that. Uh, also, to add to this, the, the meetups are, are a really good uh, opportunity for marketing and, and communicating Hex out. And, and uh, I mean, when, when people see you shooting money printers out, and uh and in astronaut outfits and everything they want to know what's up you know and so yes. uh there we we meet servers and and just mm -hmm. random people who are like whoa what what are these what's this group about and it's it's just a lot easier than than um like trying to be a salesman and and you know find random people they they're drawn in people are drawn in so so it's fun it's a it's uh, I think we all like to talk about crypto and, and we all like to talk about uh, uh, Hex and, and the, the projects that that mean something to us. And, and when, when other people ask you about it, then it makes it that much uh, better, you know, so, so it's an opportunity. I, I love how when we go out to, uh, I always tell people, they're like, oh, you guys work for the same company? I'm like, yeah, we work for Hex.com. Uh, we're all, <laughs> <laughs> because how yeah. else do you explain it? How else do you explain a bunch of loon birds who, who are into mm -hmm. crypto who have, don't get paid? You know, nobody gets paid for doing any of this stuff. They just want to go hang out because they're interested in it. So you're like, yeah, we, we work for Hex.com, whatever. Here's a t-shirt. You want a t-shirt? Here's a t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like I like how you did those hundred dollar bills there, Max. That was pretty awesome shooting them out. That was that was pretty classic. At the I, I was going to say that, we should talk about some of the events. Some of the so I, I made yeah. some uh, custom. I made some custom hundred dollar Richard Hart bills that I also Grab shared some. with a money shooter. Okay, Steve's got them. All right, bring them up. I love those. I keep a couple around the house too. So money shooter that turned into like this music video that Jerry put together to the tune of the popular Prada remix that, that was out mm. at the time. Uh, yes, yeah, nice. get close up? oh, that's real money. <laughs> still, that's still real money. Still money. Uh, you have your oh, Richard, there we go. There we go. wait, you have your Richard Hart hundred dollar bills mixed with your real money. <laughs> it, it gets my kids every time. Please have keep trying to, to pay people, one? please keep trying to pay people. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. It gets one or two of them for sure. 
Dude, <laughs> so look, I made a bunch of those, and we, we had we had a you know that was in the the bowling event. We've had so we've had bowling, and maybe another bowling coming up. We've had plenty of dinners uh, around the around the greater Seattle area. Uh, we've had uh, indoor skydiving, which I, I hope is coming up. I'm trying to help plan some of that, maybe in March. Uh, we, we could try to do that with a someone who's not from Washington State, I don't think, but she's she's very interested in, in meeting up with uh, the local oh, yeah. Western groups, Crypty Girl. Um, what other what other events? Uh, yeah, who bets? The what picnic. other events have we had? We going did on? the we did the picnic uh, deal. That's how yes. my yes. that was my introduction, right? And. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Meeting everybody. So that was that was great. Jerry hosted that. Steve was on the grill, you know, hooking and jabbing on there. It was delicious. We had the flag. We had all the kids. And it's a family affair wow. too, right? Like it just however it works out, it works out. We did Steve's awesome hockey event. You yes. know, he got a mm -hmm. suite and everything. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. That Thank was you very cool. much. Super cool. Um, everyone just does their part where they can, pays it forward. Uh crypto compassions, you know, come up from Oregon hanging out with mm -hmm. us. I mean, love that guy. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's free to everybody. So we, we had the couple come up from, uh, Oregon also, you know, mm -hmm. for the picnic. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy, uh, mm -hmm. Northwest Mexican. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah great dude. Yeah. I was, I was roommates with him in at Daytona. And I met him in Telegram, and we ended up shacking up together, you know, <laughs> down in Florida. It was a great experience, you know. He's a former, nice. he's an Army guy himself. Um, so we just, yeah, just natural connection and hit it off. Yeah, lots of, lots of meetups, lots of events, and uh, we've been trying to do them about once a month or so. Maybe we escape a month every once in a while, but trying to get together and just go conquer some territory. Again, we talked to waitress, wait, uh, waitresses and waiters and uh, people at the events or people who just ask us, Hey, what's on your shirt? What does this mean? What is that? Is that your company? Is what, you know, and we, I've, I've had very, I think the last time at bowling, we had a lot of conversations with people, uh, just mm -hmm. explaining what is DeFi? Like what is hex? How, how can, how can you get involved? How can it help you? How much money people have made, uh, just on their investments and, and the passive income aspect of it. So when you go out, I'm always surprised when I wear a hat that says hex on it or a shirt. People always ask me, what does it mean? What is that? I, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's like they're just drawn to the hexagons everywhere. It's just like Richard says, hexagons everywhere. They're everywhere. You can't get away from them. They're attractive. They, they bring people in. Well, it's a beautiful, so, yeah, it's a beautiful logo. It pops, right? It resonates. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But just, you know, from many other events, like when you're out in a group and everyone's all hexed up, you know, we're, we're pretty easy going, you know, group of people in general. And very approachable. And most people, you know, quite a lot of people have dabbled here or there in some type of crypto. And, you know, you try to show them the light and save them from themselves. And some understand and get it. And some just need a little more education. And, you know, that's that's what it's all about. But um, each of you guys individually all bring something to the table. And each, each meetup and event just gets, you know, more fun and more interesting. And we all learn from each other. You know, yes, we're we're all about hex, but just you know, we love Pulse Chain. There's a lot of great products on Pulse Chain. Um, you know, this is the RH Max channel, but uh, you know, but uh, hey, it's all in the RH ecosystem as well. So it's uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I'll talk about stuff other than the blue chips when I when I like a product. I mean, there's plenty of products that are that price positive feedback loops that I, that I don't like. So, that. so leading into that, what was up with? Uh, with uh, Maximus, what are those guys doing? What's what's on the horizon? Dipcatcher is creating a new coin slash no. pass <laughs> that uh, is going to be based on you get access to an, a trading indicator for DCA though, a DCA trading indicator. That's, uh, that's cool. what I talked talked about a couple of years ago, or not a couple of years, a couple of hours ago on stream with him. If anybody wants to see it, uh, RH Max Dipcatcher DCA. Uh, but he, yeah, he's he's creating that very low float, low supply, probably. I think it starts tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening, it sounds like, uh, that he's going to release it. And you can uh, participate in that if you want with ETH. But uh, that's going to be an interesting project, especially if you're interested in DCA, if you do some trading, not the GDM trading, but like the, the DCA type trading. Um, that's going to be something, uh, his new project coming out. So I've been waiting, 2023, I've been waiting, what's the next Maximus project? or from the Maximus guys. And 
dip catcher uh, went through, put me through the ringer on the technical deep dive uh, last show. And it seems very interesting. If anyone wants so to check it like out. You, heard it, you heard it here first type of thing? Is that, yeah? Uh, <laughs> he did a stream right before he came on with me. Oh. And then we did, I got to ask him a bunch of questions. So there, there was that. I, I don't always get the exclusive. Maybe maybe one day. Maybe uh, maybe maybe we'll try to, I'll try to, you know, can somebody tell me the, <clears throat> I'm embarrassed, I don't know. The Washington State Telegram, is it T.M.E.? Gary or Brand or somebody tell me this. Washington it's State. Good. WA State. I just want to post it in the chat so people can know where to go for our local meetups. Or they can be uh, extreme dead. Let me, yeah. <laughs> let me let me link it real quick for you. Cause I don't I don't think yeah. I think when we had when I had set it up initially that wasn't it invite yeah, all like, Yeah, I, I think it's that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's like it used to be t.me slash Washington State Hexicans. Um, let, let me get you the link again here real quick. Let me, I'll put it in the private chat. Okay. It, uh, and just you, yeah. I'm just thinking, it, you know, we try to keep it to Washington only, or if you, if we know you and you're Pacific Northwest and you like can come to meetups a lot, uh, no, no stalkers, that type of thing. <laughs> Uh, but we want to be friendly, but also like we try to try to keep we'll it uh, out, at our man. local meetups. So that's all. Yeah. Well, like I like like I said, everybody's over six foot. We have <laughs> we have a sharpshooter yeah, in the group. Sure. We have a sharpshooter in the group. We have a guy that's a um, MMA fighter that we have seen him on video knock somebody out with one kick. So you know we're good on that at security, and we don't need security. <laughs> we are the security. So, yeah, you know, Brandon, it's it's really cool. You know, you're right. Me, yes, that's where we met. Is is the um, mm -hmm. when um, Abit came through. We had dinner, and Steve was with us there too. Um, he didn't make mm -hmm. it to the video, but that was sure was cool. And that was the that was the beginning. I was not I was not really a hexagon till that day, you know. And like, it took a few days to um, really click, but I knew there was something very special about this group of people. Um, you know, and, and, and as I spent another year and a half, two years or whatever it's been since then, you know, um, there's really, really a lot of very intelligent, special people in the Hexing community that that you don't see anywhere else. You know, like like I've told, I don't know who, I think I was talking to Steve one time. You know, I, I, I've watched some of the Bitcoin documentaries, you know, from I don't know how many years ago that, you know, had footage from, Bitcoin, you know, when it first came out and the people, it's like, we have these meetups and it feels special. It feels like, mm. like, like, like it looked in those documentaries, like, except we've got a better product. Um, you know it, you know well, it. And, and we're, we're so cross-functionally different. Like it, it's almost like we're, the, we're the village people of crypto. We have a construction worker. We have a, streamer we have a rock hound we have a vet we you know like it's we have an australian yeah, yeah. Hey, we do not discriminate <laughs> equal hexagon employers you know hey. true but within that group like you go in these other communities and there's just like it can be just so much crap out there the um the positivity of the people in the group you know you've got um yeah, um, all the mental health stuff that it's getting strained and, you know, just even uh, um, Richard's books that he put out, you know, just really sort of trying to, you know, you, you find better people in our community, which is yeah, so, sure. so awesome to see. For sure. And to that, and it, you know, that goes to, uh, you know, as far as shout outs go, that goes out to KSB, man, Crypto Sparbuck mm -hmm. team. The whole crew, Absolutely. you know, um, amazing. All the different Hex and Pulse Chain events that they throw on and host and touring around the country. It takes some, a couple Germans and a crew to, you know, <laughs> do it up in America. And they brought a lot of people together, right? Just like as you're sharing your story, you know, that, that was the beginning. And it helped unify and solidify even more. And state by state, and as you're chatting in live chats, you know, people are like, hey, where are you from? Or it might be in their handle or this and that. And that conversation ensues. And next thing you know, you know, you're, you are got one, two, and three, four, and you got a nice meetup going. It's like you drink Red Bull. I drink Red Bull. <laughs> right? Hang out. Right? Right? Yeah. 
I thought we so weren't supposed what, to talk about Red Bull. You said, Jerry, watch your mouth, be careful. And so I thought Red Bull was off limits. I don't think I said that, but you might have heard it in your head in my voice, though. You might have heard it. <laughs> okay. exact words. Uh, hey, Max, no. I, I, think, I think our official official drinks, what is that? Moscow Mule, isn't it? When we catch up. <laughs> Those are dinner, good. And our dinner good. drink is Moscow good. Mule, I think so. Yeah. It starts getting yes. expensive. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I think whoever we get as uh, doing our tab at, at Trenchers, they uh, they like to just they're like, oh, hex.com, you guys must be rich. Let's just uh, double all the stuff. Just, <laughs> well, like you you well, say double, and then we'll double the price. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there's like, hey, I'll do a shot. I'll do a shot. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll throw one more on there. Hey. They they they're taking advantage of uh of superior software. I'll, I guess I'll say that. Uh, so, so so Brand, I want to talk about two plans. Plans for uh, plans for shout out to Moscow Mule, whoever invented that drink. Uh, Brand, we'll start with you. Plans for twenty twenty three, current contributions to the community, uh, future contributions. What 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 is your vision? What is the pulse of twenty twenty three in the ecosystem, uh, and what what do you achieve this year? Uh, I guess. So, I mean, for me personally, I've just been taking a little bit of a, like my channel wise, I've just been kind of taking a little bit of a, a break on kind of like content and things like that. Um, is, is the question directed for, for like, kind of like what I'm doing this year channel wise, or, or what was the kind of question yeah. directed towards? Or, yeah. Yeah. What, what do you see happening in the ecosystem? Okay. What do you, what do you plan sure. on okay. doing? Yeah. yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you know, fingers crossed, right. That, uh, Pulse chain launches this year mm -hmm. and it's awesome to see, you know, it's, it's really cool to see, like having been there at the beginning of Hex and and now with the sacrifice for Pulse Chain and PulseX, uh, what's going to be coming into fruition, you know, uh, the the wait is definitely going to be well worth it. And, you know, it's it's also, I mean, I know for yourself, that's more of the, the technical details. Uh, it was kind of cool to see a little bit of the pivot from the, the fork of the Pirelia, like BSC to the E2.0. I know that had kind of you know, maybe put a wrench in, in some of the timing as far as, you know, how long it's taking for Pulse Chain to, to come out. But but yeah, I mean, you know, if everything goes well, we're, we're definitely going to see that launch this year. And, you know, that's going to kind of be uh, just like the, the ripple, like the drop of water that, you know, creates all of these, you know, different waves and all these other ecosystems for people that hadn't heard about Richard Hart um, or, or Hex or things like this, this community. Uh, if they haven't heard about that before pulsing launches, then they're going to hear about that after. Because um, just like you mentioned with, you know, going to the meetups and things like this, um, people have definitely heard, you know, they, they now know like the, the term crypto or it might have like a, a sour taste in their mouth from maybe someone that was in BitConnect in 2017, things like that. Um, but the cool thing about what we're doing with, with the meetups or, you know, just uh, the crypto in general is it seems to be, uh, you know, you know, doing doing things, but like one step better and kind of doing it the right way instead of, you know, rushing uh, to launch and then having something not turn out as well. Um, so, what I think we're gonna see is, you know, Pulse Chain launch this year, and and yeah, that obviously includes Pulse X and you know everything else that's getting forked over, um, and that's gonna be really cool. You know, it's it's uh, like I said, it's been a long time coming, and it's gonna be cool to see it into fruition because. You know, you can only onboard so much and you can only hype people up so much before something is launched, you know, uh, and especially with some of the timing and things, people might just get bored or uh, or disinterested until it does launch, you know. Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that happening and it's going to be, you know, the ecosystem that I imagine it in my head, uh, you know, cheaper fees, things like this. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good opportunity for for all of us. And, you know, the cool thing is, too, is. You know, Jerry had mentioned uh, the, you know, the the Bitcoin documentaries and things like that. Uh, this this definitely does feel like that. Not that I was there, you know, in, in Bitcoin early on, I wasn't. But I know when Richard had talked about his intentions for Hex and and now what we're seeing with Pulse Chain, it, uh, it really is going to be something big. And, you know, as far as like the snowball downhill analogy, you know, it, it's it's really just getting started. And uh, it's, it's going to be exciting to see you know, how much more generational wealth is, is created and, and also just being able to, uh, you know, get other people into, you know, what I think is a, is a good investment, a good community, 
good people. You know, as far as the last thing I'll say is as far as the meetups go, like, you know, uh, Max had mentioned, you know, that, you know, you're, you're kind of contemplating in your head, like, okay, uh, sh should I go to this meetup? You know, is it kind yeah. of, is it going to, you know, damage my operational security, things like that? Um, are there any concerns? Um, for, for me, I haven't had any, you know, concerns come into fruition. Like everything's been, uh, you know, everything's been super, super cool, um, you know, kind of as it's been since the beginning, as far as the people that I've met and, and also their intentions too. Um, so just really looking forward to, to Pulse Chain and, you know, uh, that sacrifice for, for the points, uh, for the Pulse points is going to be pretty cool. And anyways, it's, it's just a whole ecosystem, you know, once, once it's launched, you can't really, you know, turn it back or, or redo it. So, uh, I appreciate Richard for, for taking the time. Cause you know, just like with Hex in the beginning, um, before it was launched, uh, Dev Kyle had kind of noticed some of the, you know, like there's kind of like a slight bug in, in the actual, uh, T-share rate itself where, you know, right. what's supposed to be longer pays, uh, pays better and things like that. You know, the system could have been gamed. And so, you know, the point is, is just the, the wait for what Richard's been doing with Pulse Chain. Uh, we all think that that's going to turn into something pretty nice versus it, you know, having launched before when maybe it wasn't all the way ready. There are no redos. Yes, uh, definitely. We, uh, I think Richard, he's, we, we, we trust in him. He, he's got all the plans. He's playing 40 chess. He's 10 steps ahead of, uh, of everyone. And uh, so far, so good. You got to wait, but that's the only pain we've had. The only pain has been waiting. There's been no disasters, been no pulse chain false starts. It's been great. So uh, Hex went down with everything else. Uh, pulse, we're going to see how it launches uh, and, and think how things go with it. But uh, it's, it's looking better than ever this year. I, I kept pushing out 2024. I'm like, I don't want to think about it this year. In the last few weeks, uh, I see the dev outrage marketing. And I'm like, maybe 2023, maybe uh, we have a chance. So. Anyways, Jerry Oaksmith, uh, what what do you what do you plan on doing 2023? What are you looking forward to? What's the what's the pulse on the community? So, um, I'm going to be honest with you, like you know, all through like growing up and being a pretty big Seahawks fan, not so much anymore since I've had kids. Really, don't have time to watch the Seahawks, but you know, I loved them my whole life. You know, I always remember everybody on Monday morning talking about what the Seahawks should have done you know, to maybe, you know, win or whatever. And um, I just always remember thinking, well, there's people paid a lot more money than these people talking about it and like a lot smarter, you know, and know more about football. And so when people talk about pulse launching or, you know, asking my opinion when it's going to launch, it's like, I don't know. There's a lot people, there's a lot more people that are smarter than me working on it. So that's where I'm at. It's going to launch when it launches. And um, it's going to be super exciting because, you know, $500 Ethereum fees for unstaking or, you know, for your stake ending, um, that's not cool. Especially when somebody, you know, doesn't have a lot of money and they're trying to DCA in, um, you know, and they don't want to have, you know, they want a, a one-year stake. They want their first stake to be one year and they want to do a ladder. Um, so I'm super excited. I just cannot wait. I canceled my Netflix membership. Because I don't get any joy out of watching anything on TV anymore because watching the community and all the other cryptos and DeFi and, you know, FTX collapsing, I mean, I get enough entertainment with that. You know, it's super exciting. So 2023 for me seriously is about more personal growth. Um, if anybody saw me speak you know, at the Hex conference, I shared a little bit about some of the traumatic things I've been through in the past few years. And um, I'm a single father now. Like, dude, <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. But it's like mm -hmm. the most exciting thing in the world. I wake up six out of seven days a week, like feeling like the luckiest man on planet Earth. And it's a really good feeling. And I want to continue that feeling. And I want to continue getting to know Hexagons and you know, just people. I like you guys. You guys are a lot of fun. You know, we talk about, you know, we're planning on doing some camping trips. We're going to maybe go um, scouting for crystals. That's not really exciting for me. But when I showed my son, my oldest son, that, dude, he was so excited. He was, like, nerding out, dude. Like, he's going to have so much fun. He's going to be right on your tail there, T-Rex. And uh, 
he was explaining and telling me, no, no, that's not that's this is that. And so, you know, there's that. We're talking about clam digging, some hiking, and like we live in such a beautiful state. There's so much to do here. I really look forward to hanging out with you guys and doing stuff. You know, and like I um, have said, I have a kid. I have two boys, and you know, some else, some of the others in the group have kids, and we're planning on doing some kid friendly stuff too. So. I'm just super excited about that, you know, growing myself and my mental health and, you know, losing a little bit more of my gut. I've done good with that. So, yeah, just that's about it, man. And when Pulse launches, it's going to launch. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, Netflix uh, go woke, go broke thing. Maybe uh, catching up to him right now as well. Just want to throw that in there. Uh, Stevie D, what's happening, man? What are you looking forward to 2023? And uh, what, do you, what do you plan on doing this year in, in the community and otherwise? Well, the last conversation I had with uh, T-Rex, we were just um, getting deep on the um, the whole yielding and the opportunities that we have at the moment, how, you know, stake in our hex is, you know, just just such a great return. And then, you know, there's other, other opportunities in the ecosystem, but for Pulse X to be launched and, you know, the opportunity there to be able to never sell our crypto if we don't have to and, and buy against it. That's just the exciting times ahead of us. So that's just um, that side of things. I've got holidays planned. My holidays now are based around, you know, hex events, you know, so, you know, um, vets and I are heading over to the Bahamas doing that trip. So that's going to be um, going to be a real fun one. And then um, I've still got to pull up the old poker night. So I'm going to I'm going to definitely organize that. Um, being a little bit snowed under, but that's going to happen. And and top golf is going to be another thing that we're going to do and do a catch up with. So I've got those two events for us guys to to do in the near future. So stay tuned. Super excited! Yeah, I can't wait for poker, top golf, man. We uh, exciting year for uh, for the local meetups in area area. Should be should be a blast. And uh, yeah, T T Rex, what's what's happening, man? What are you what are you doing? Uh, what are you working on this year? What's what's going on? Uh, I'm not doing much. I'm a patient person. Uh, I think even if pul when Pulse Chain launches, um, I'll be just sitting back with some popcorn, watching. I'm not going to make any crazy moves. I'm I, I'm going to still keep my chains, my value on each chain separated. Um, and just watch. Um, luckily, I think for everyone who sacrificed, um, that value has been preserved during the bear market. So that's super cool. Um, it's it's uh, an opportunity for, it's something that Richard Hart, in my opinion, built in. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm involved in the crypto, the second crypto challenge, uh, crypto fitness challenge. So I'm doing that. Um, and just, just, uh, DCAing in where I can, um, I, I'm, I grateful for, um, all, all of the, the hex advantages that we have. So there are things like projects being built on top of hex, like Hedron, there's, uh, airdrops that we've been able to take advantage of for hex stakers, uh, that's the PLSD and Pulse Bitcoin and all that. There's uh, there's just so much free things and and um, in my opinion, I'm I'm just sitting back with popcorn, wait, waiting for Pulse Chain to launch, and um, and I th I do think that uh, I'll, I'll monitor Pulse X and 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 Pulse Chain when it comes out and. Uh, try to take advantage of a dip here or there, but who knows? It it might not be. Who knows when it'll come? Um, so I'm I'm just I'm patient and I'm going to DCA into things. You know, I, I'm uh, I'm 100% of my hexes staked, so I'm happy about that. And my average stake stake length is is about 10 years. So. I, I'm nice. just letting this this whole bear market. I've been just watching my bags grow, um, and and being patient. So, super excited though. 
it's beautiful to, to plant a tree and just watch it grow up and produce fruit. And uh, that's yep. what we're doing in this uh, amazing DeFi ecosystem. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Vets, last but not least, what, what's going on for you in 2023? Man, you know, so first off, um, the purpose of Vets and Crypto is just to raise awareness of all military veterans around the world. Um, I'm not launching any projects, uh, you know, maybe down the road, maybe a fundraising event for service disabled, you know, or just veterans in general, who knows, but I'm not doing a token or a project or, you know, no, it's straight and simple with me, man. What you see is what you get. Um, you know, just keep, so just do it, you know, a lot of due diligence, keep researching, uh, start developing plans, state, have notes, because those that have, uh, of seeing something take off and watching, you know, graphs and stocks, that the dopamine rush is real. You can mess up and call it fat fingering right you're doing something and oops you know like so have a plan everyone has a plan until they get hit in the face right or until fomo kicks in so just you know surround yourself so like like belly had said you know and i coined this and i give it to uh wendy's fraternities as well you know it's good to have friends in crypto a hundred percent um you guys should uh go if you're not uh go see those guys uh legion vc and telegram you know they got a lot of open conversations in there um that's uh, another good one um so just yeah do, doing due diligence maybe look at joining you know after you've been around the community for a while maybe look at some of the the paid private groups you know like you touched on dollar cost crypto he's got a group um, you know, Jake Sharp, he's got his crypto mastermind, Randy Hilarski, no permissions. Uh, there's a STA discord with sloth and Axis and silver. Um, crypto coffee has of course, you know, those are like solid, good, reputable members in the community. Anybody else out there on YouTube? Like, where are they now? <laughs> where, where are they? You know, that, that speaks volumes a hundred percent. Um, and uh, just cross-reference everything with all these new projects. And if you're newer, you know, get two, at least a minimum of two sources when you're verifying contract addresses and, uh, you know, bookmark those sites. Once you find something that's legit, save, follow them. There's so many fake things. We see it all the time on Twitter, you know, everyone being copied. You got to look at those little de attention to details. How many followers do they have? You know, things like that. How many times has RH, you know, been, you know, spoofed and stuff? You got to do your due diligence. Check everything twice, 100%, you know. Um, you know, just from security to treasures, you know. So just due diligence. Do a lot of research. Uh, excited for a lot of things. For me, I guess next on the deck is uh, Tetra Sacrifices coming up February 17th. That's really interesting. Get in the Telegram, start learning about that. Crypto Sloth is going to write up some scripts, you know, kind of automating stuff. Uh, um, so, you know, it just, yeah, there's a lot on the horizon, a lot to be excited about. You got to stay on top, make notes, and do your research for sure. Awesome. Yeah, I think 2023, it's, you know, the beginning of the year, it seems like it's going to be eh, sideways, kind of boring. We're gonna, we just got to get through it. That's what that was my beginning. Uh, my, my New Year's resolution would have been like, just get through it. 2024 is going to be the big bang. Uh, but I don't know, man. 2023 is shaping up to be, uh, of course, you know, I set myself up with a lot of passive options and staking. And I don't need to touch things and, or trade a lot or, or anything of that sort. But it's, uh, I don't know, this, again, the dev outrage marketing, I've been a fan of, uh, instead of, you know, RH just pretending like you don't want to talk about dev, dev updates, and, and uh, I don't know, I kind of miss Prada. I wish he would do some more uh, outfits. I, I need some more thumbnail material. I, I make a lot of thumbnails these days, so I, RH, if you could just go to the Prada store a little bit more often these days, that'd, that'd be great. Uh, we got one question from the chat that, uh, that I think we're qualified to 
speculator predict on if anyone who wants to jump at it, uh, Dave five six five six. Which I'm not sure if that's there, Dave or not. Could be. How many X's do you guys think Hex will do in 2023? With lots of emojis. Thanks. Who wants to take that one? I'll go ahead. I think it'll do at least a one X. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> Wait for yourself from there. Don't get too crazy, Jay. Don't get too crazy. I'm Bill Tonlo. Honestly, I I think it's hard to predict with uh with yeah. the release of Pulse Chain. I I think there's so many different moving cogs that um and and which which hex are you are you referring? Right. Um, I, I do yeah. think that I. I do think that both uh, Ethereum Hex, if, if Pulse Chain does launch, um, I do think both Hexes will meet parity at some point um, because I think whoever, uh, I think people will buy what's cheaper. Um, so, and, and that should eventually meet parity. Uh, but I think that's, that's a tough one to think about because I mean, Pulse Chain gains, people uh, love Hex and, and uh, some of their gains, they might move it right to Hex, which would be their, in my opinion, their 401k, you know? So um, I, uh, for me, that's a tough one. It's, it's, but I, I agree with Jerry, <laughs> at least one X. At least a one X, at least a one X, yeah. So it shouldn't go down, I guess that's the, that's the conventional wisdom, hopefully. Uh, I do want yeah. to add one thing to that, if you don't mind. Um, sure. It, it, it's just best to DCA in. It, it really is. And then, Word. you know, figure out what, how to DCA a little bit out to put some money in your pocket. Because, you know, that's important. But definitely DCA. And I, I'm just going to say, if, if somebody is thinking, I'm going to buy at this price and I'm going to sell right before Pulse launching, um, in my personal opinion, that's a terrible idea. Um, DCA and, and, you know, like I said, DCA out a little bit, you know, or whatever your first stake ends or whatever you decide to do. But um, thinking about trading is just a bad idea. It's not good for you. It's not good for me. Um, unhealthy habits is what I was engaged in when I first got into crypto. And I don't have to have, you know, those bad habits anymore. I'm staked out. I've got a ladder. I put it together and I'm DCA in, in more for my children. So that's my advice. Bad advice. Go. We'll take, uh, we'll do one more question before we go. Hex on the beach. Wish you were here, man. Good to see you. Ow. How many, how many X does Pulse Chain or Pulse X will do? Anybody want to take that one? More than two. How about that? <laughs> More than two. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we try not to lose money on these investments. We uh, we feel very <laughs> confident we won't be losing money. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. So I mean, God, man. I mean, just it just gets exciting just thinking about everything. I mean, between mm -hmm. like famous liquid loans, Power City. Uh, we're just man. We're coming with a fully loaded chain, like. Who, who's done that? I, you know, you look at those numbers on Paul Sex, uh, from K for K, what he's done, and and just the other graphs of how others just taking a median average of how the others have performed over time and years. Man, you can't, you, you're not, you can't do anything wrong if you just do nothing. Like when it launches, and if you do nothing and you just hodl, you're okay. You're not, you know, you're not gonna mess something up or send something to the wrong address um it's it's hard to mess this up if you know like just the, we're gonna apply the kiss method for those that aren't really experienced keep it simple stupid right so yeah. just keep a level head because it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be nuts and there'll be some 24-hour streams what do you got planned max for uh jumping on somebody's stream or something Ooh, man, it's not, people have asked me that. I don't, I don't know. I, I think there'll be a lot of people streaming a lot more <clears throat> around that time. I think uh, I'm trying to slow down a little bit. I'm going to take a break at the end of the month and go see how things choke out with the nice. test nets and, and all that. I am setting up a, I plan on setting up a test net validator for, for, for Pulse Chain. Been working with the Ethereum test net validator right now. Hopefully oh, I can, yeah. uh, get that That's all sure. running. So I'm preparing for that, but uh, I'm going to take a little bit of break too. And then hopefully, I don't know, March, April, May, 
we'll see what see what uh, see what comes out of uh, RH's uh, Twitter feed and, and announcements go. But I say prepare yourself. Uh, don't be don't be don't take too long of a break because uh, this year mm-hmm. is shaping up to be more exciting than than, uh, than I thought. At least I'll say that. Um, Close, closing remarks. We'll start with vets, and we'll go down. We just keep going, going, and reverse and forward here. Start with vets. Closing remarks. Last word. Where can people find you? Uh, yeah. Love you guys. Glad I found you. Um, you know, see you, crypto compassion. Love you, brother. Um, like-minded individuals. And again, can't say it enough. It's good to have friends. Um and appreciate it and even when you travel around the country or even around the world meeting everybody um there's nothing like it you have to experience an in real life hexagon pulse chain pulsican uh meetup and uh you just you you will not be disappointed 100 percent. so it's worth every penny the networking the opportunities it's it's priceless for sure uh, you can find me at uh, on Twitter at Vets and Crypto One, the number one Vets and Crypto One. Otherwise, Vets and Crypto uh, anywhere and everywhere. I, you know, kind of all over the place, and uh, try to engage here and there. So, um, yeah, Insta, Telegram. If you do a search, you'll probably find something. But always appreciate a follow and a like. And uh, thanks for hosting us, Max. Appreciate it. Of course, of course. Pleasure, pleasure. T Rex, how about you? Um, uh, closing remark. Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to throw that shout out, my shout out to, uh, Hex on the Beach. Um, he, he's our, he's, he's one of our key members, uh, in the, in our Seattle Hex community. Um, and aside from that, I think, uh, man, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of this group and I'm happy to, to that, we have at least 10 years, Max. At least. At, at least, least 10 yeah. years. I always say 15 to life. 15 to there life. There we go. Yeah, and, and just excited for for the things coming for all of us. I, I, think, uh, I think we're in a really good spot. And hopefully we get more, more people to join, more, more people in our, uh, in our mm-hmm. clique. So... As Richard says, we need more people, not less. I, I, I agree. Yep. I agree. Steve D, how about you? Well, it's awesome to um, be able to catch up with you guys, but a little disappointing. We had, what, we had like 20 at the um, bowling and at the, um, at the hockey game. So our group is a lot bigger than just us guys here. And um, yep. just having a, it's just a slice of the pie, isn't it? Seeing us here mm-hmm. together, but no, but Jerry's, said it beautifully just dollar cost average so you know just we're on the rocket ship it's just a matter of staying on board and um and keep keep our strategies in place you know i'm in construction so it's all about me i've got a plan i've got the blueprints and um it doesn't matter you know time management um financial management it it doesn't matter if you've got a plan you stick to it and um and we're we're all on the same ship and go in the same direction. So it's exciting times. So um, being happy to be part of it all. Glad to have you, man. Yeah, the difference between uh, hopes and dreams is hex.com. I'll throw that out there. Uh, <laughs> like that. Jerry Oaksmith, how about you? Last last words and uh, where can people find you? So if you want to find me, I'm uh, Jerry Oaksmith on Twitter. I'm unplug underscore dad on Instagram. Um, that's more personal stuff with, you know, my kids on there and you're welcome to, you know, friend of me or whatever you call it on there. Um, you know, and I just want to give a shout out to Brandon. Um, you know, I, how do you say this? I don't want to say like you're the leader or the epicenter, but like you're the OG, you know, and meeting you and kind of a growing center around you and, your gentle kindness and your um, thoughtful words. Like, I don't know if we would have had such a special group without you. I mean, that's easy to say, but like everybody in the, you know, space knows that like you're the man, dude. So I just want to give a shout out to you and um, 
you know, you're you're even more special in person. So people that see you on stream, you know, they're only getting part of you. So that's it. And if you're a little intimidated and um, would like to hang out with us or nervous, don't be nervous. Um, we're actually just really cool guys, like really cool guys. The waitress that's been with us, I think, three times at our, our local place we go to, she um, – I, I pulled her aside one time and I, I said, come on now. I, I said, hey, what do you think about us? Like, what do you, what is your perception of us? And she said the kind of stuff. She goes, you guys are like nobody else. There's something really mm. special about you guys. And I mean, I can't remember everything she said, but it really meant a lot to me um, that we stand out in such a positive way. And, you know, you know, we, we, we are intriguing, you know, the way we, you know, have our gear and we're laughing to have a good time. So, yeah, I just, you know, highly encourage people all around the United States to go and find their state meetup, start one, have one, and, um, you know, build relationships because that's that's really mm -hmm. what life is all about. You know, the, you know, daily payout is just part of what's going on here. So that's it. Thanks for hosting, Max. And I'm really glad that you joined our crew too. And, it's, it's awesome to watch you take off like a rocket. I only know one direction to go. That's up and to the right. It's knock on wood here. Uh, yeah, that, it's, <laughs> the last time I came in for the for the dinner, I didn't even think she recognized me or a group. And she was like, oh, where, where's the Motley crew at? And I'm like, what? <laughs> you actually, uh, you remember, you, you, she has affinity. The people who, uh, you know, waitresses and waiters and stuff, uh, people who, you know, ho we have events with and, and are, are doing that with, they have affinity for our group. It's, it's pretty amazing. So I, I really uh, always like to see that. Plus, uh, plus Bally, you, you tip really well when you've been drinking too. I don't know if you know that. You <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. Exactly. I think, uh, <laughs> I think they jacked that bill up enough where I'm like, hmm, this is always have to have a double take, but uh, somehow they, uh, they have good service. So whatever, I'll, I'll take it. Mm. Uh, Valley brand, uh, where can people find you? It looks like you get your, all my links there and, uh, yep. and last word, sir. Yeah. So, uh, so last words is, uh, you know, I kind of want to reiterate what Jerry had said as far as like the, the meetups go where, you know, some people might be, you know, part of the community, maybe they'd kind of been just sitting in the sidelines and, and they don't know if there's, you know, people in their area. Um, you know, I mean, Hey, you, you could ask Twitter, ask Telegram, like, Hey, is there, you know, is there any other hexagons in this state or that state? Um, and then if not, I mean, what I ended up doing was, you know, creating the telegram just because I hadn't seen anyone else, uh, you know, in the Washington state area. So I kind of used that as an opportunity um, and, and other people should do the same if you don't have, you know, a, a telegram group in your area, you know, make one and, and, you know, find people that are local to you. And, and, you know, as Jerry had said too, with, with the meetups, like, there, there definitely is something special about um, not only the group of people, not only the product, but, you know, there's there are certain things in, in life that you can tell that are like short lived and kind of like a fad. And then you can tell that there's other things that are like revolutionary and like, you know, that aren't going away. Um, and to me, this is kind of one of those things that that isn't going away and and that is getting stronger. I mean, you know, Jerry had referenced the the Bitcoin documentaries in the beginning and you know, most people had heard about it a time or two, um, but then, you know, 14 years later, X amount of years later, it's it's done all of this price appreciation. Um, that is one thing I wanted to comment real quick on, like, you know, and, and it's tough, right? No one's got a crystal ball of, you know, you know, accuracy and things like that. And, and obviously it's just fun to speculate. But as far as those questions of like, you know, what do you think Hex can do? It's like, you know, no one, no one can predict the future, but we've seen what it's done in the past. You know, like we saw it do the the ten thousand x two and a half years, etc. Um, as far as Pulse Chain goes and Pulse X go, I mean, those numbers could be not saying that it's going to be within the same time frame and things, but if you take what we're doing already, like with with Hex, with how much we had gone up in, you know, such a gate kept, uh, you know, product and community. Well, now with with Pulse Chain and you know subsequently Pulse X and these things, uh, that's really going to as far as like a dam being backed up, you know, like a Beaver Dam or something. Uh, that's really going to poke the first couple holes that you know now people have heard of Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know that maybe they haven't heard of Pulse Chain, Pulse X, but uh, or Pulse Chain or Hex. But after after the launch, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be one of those things that you know once again you can't unhear about it. It's uh, it's gonna make its its mark. So. 
as far as all I have to say is, you know, just great job, uh, Max, on on your streams. Um, you, you know, you've been you've been doing really great, and and I love to see, you know, that the you know the community itself, people are getting together and, and asking how they can help, or or people like yourself that never even intended on streaming in the first place are now, you know, putting putting in valuable information and and obviously a lot of time on your end. Uh, you know, to educate others. And so if we can all kind of just do that collectively with what we know, then we're building everyone up, you know, like a chain link, you know, you're only strong as the weakest link. And so the cool thing I love about this community is we're, you know, lifting everyone up together and, you know, giving everyone, you know, our tips and secrets and, and advice. And then from there, people can kind of just take that information and, and make it on their own. But very last thing I'll say is, is yeah, have a thesis, right? Uh, Vets and Crypto had mentioned, you know, the the dopamine that comes from FOMO, and it's it's unlike any other dopamine I've experienced. Like as far as the FOMO goes, uh, you you should have kind of like a thesis of, hey, you know, when when Pulse Chain comes out or some of these other things come out, when do I want to take profit? You know what, you know what amount of X's do you want to take profit at, and and just some of these things because once it launches, uh, it can be pretty inundating, and that's just what we've seen with Hex. Let alone once. Pulse Chain and some of these other things launch that are going to be, you know, a bigger scale and just less gate kept. It's going to be harder to make those investment decisions or those decisions that you want to with your portfolio if you haven't really thought about it much before. So that's all I'll say. And thanks again for having us on, man. This group of people is really awesome. And, and like uh, Tyrannosaurus Hex had said, you know, like it's, it's going to be getting bigger. And uh, I really look forward to the future meetups. Of course. Of course. It's been a great man. And uh, I think you mentioned Pulse. Pulse chain hex there for a second. Is that a free claim for a Bitcoiners to get some free pulse? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Big, shout out to Bitcoin Hex, the uh, the original website and, uh, and stuff. Guys, uh, Jerry's battery's dying, so uh, we'll, we'll call it at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, appreciate everyone. Jerry, he's upside down. <laughs> oh, you can't even. His his phone has tried its best. Uh, get a wireless charger and uh, or plug it in, Jerry, if you want to continue using your phone tonight. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, love the chat. You guys had a lot of great questions and comments. Super funny. Uh, glad to see everyone. We're going to try to do another time sometime. We'll do like maybe a greater Western thing. We can invite Crypty Girl, uh, Crypto Compassion, a lot of the people who show up to our events from time to time, help us plan some of the things in the future. It's going to be fantastic. Local Hex Meetups. If you don't know where yours is, try your best to find it because they are a blast. And, uh, and we'll go out with that one. So thanks, everyone uh hit the smash all the buttons go subscribe to all these people and follow them on twitter if you want to know more information and we are out Ooh.